Hey guys, it's Danielle here for the Leo reading of for February of 2021. So excited to bring this to you. In this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit, as well as reading the energy of the cards, and you're going to get the energy healing to go along with the message for February. All right, and I will pull some more cards throughout the energy healing, so you just want to stay tuned for that. And if you've never done it before, I will explain to you exactly what it is when we get into it. All right, so let's see what we've got going on for the month. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification, and then also give me a thumbs up on this video. If you hit the little bell notification, you'll get live when I go, you'll get notified when I go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. with different topics. Tonight I'm reading some cards for Valentine's Day, so you can check that out. All right, one more line we have here. Three more cards, please. Oh, what is that line all about? Awesome. Ended out strong. Okay, so we've got the overall energy here is the Ace of Pentacles. So for the month of February, as a fellow Leo as well, we have something new coming in. So um, they're showing me open arms. So that means that you have to be open to receiving it. So keep your heart chakra open here. Um, they're also showing me the throat chakra, so you want to make sure that you're expressing yourself. So when it comes to something, especially something new and having an opportunity, make sure to speak up. Like, don't stay quiet. Like, speak up for it. So if it's a new job, like, say that you want it. If it's a person, you know, out and about and you want to talk to them, like, go talk to them. Get that confidence up and really kind of... Um, use your voice and don't because you can miss the opportunity if you don't speak up so speak up eight of swords with that is that you're trapped here you're stuck so you're not stuck get that confidence we've got the world and we've got the seven of cups here so there's so many options for you here in the beginning of the month your mind could be kind of going back and forth between different options that you have we have the new moon also coming in which I just did a reading on that, so you can check that out on this channel. But you're not you're you're the person keeping you stuck. Uh, really, come clean, be honest here with yourself as to who are you blaming for the situation that you're in. And when you can start to remove the blindfold here, you'll start to see things differently, and you'll be able to take your power back in the situation and get out of a victim mentality. And with the world here, you know, like this is you, like you've got options. So like if you're not seeing that in your life, that the world is at your fingertips and that you do have options, it's because you're keeping yourself blinded. And we'll get into some questions here in a little bit. But in the very beginning of the month, it feels as though you're blinded to the opportunities that might be at hand for you. And it might be due to because people have hurt you in the past here with the Seven of Swords and the Fool card, and we've got the Four of Pentacles. So again, it feels as though you've been hurt in the past. People have been shady to you, uh, deceiving you, lying to you, but it's time to take that leap of faith and trust because the Four of Pentacles, you can see, she's holding on to her coins like, oh my gosh, nobody better take these. This is how they're showing me that you're feeling inside. And it's hard for you to take a leap of faith. It's hard for you to jump back into things or make choices because you're worried about people around you or even yourself, like disappointing you, um, making the wrong choice, fear of failure is coming up here as well. So realize that it is okay to take that leap of faith and open yourself up and trusting here trusting yourself to make the right decisions and you know i work with women healing after toxic relationships and this is a very big thing that a lot of them you know we talk about because we think that it's the other person and again this is the blindfold here we think it's the other person that we don't trust so if you've been through toxic relationships and you are wanting to get out there and date like you're very scared to do that because you're worried that the person that you attract is not going to is going to be a narcissist or a toxic person. But the thing is is it's not that you don't trust that person, it's that you don't trust yourself to have the boundaries and make the right decisions to make sure that if it is a toxic person 
that you notice the red flags and are able to say, I'm not going to deal with that. Like, that's not what I want. And place the boundary and remove them rather than settling for what is coming to you. And that's the energy that I'm getting here with this middle row in the middle of the month, especially around Valentine's Day. Uh, you know, if people are coming back to you, if ex narcs, you know, narcissists are coming back to you, like make sure that you take the leap of faith and trust yourself to make the right decisions around the people you bring into your life. Okay, so that's the message that I'm getting there. And then we got the six of swords. So here it could be that you are okay. So hopefully you're reading, you're watching this reading before Valentine's Day or the middle of the month of February. But this could be is that you take that leap of faith again and you get involved with this toxic person here. And again, right away, though, you're walking away. So by the end of February, I feel like you're like, oh, shit, what did I do? <laughs> and now we're walking away. The Knight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So this is about and you can see like you're moving closer to your intuition here. And as I said, that's 222 on my uh, clock here. So angel number, Google that, 222. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight, but he's he's moving towards this High Priestess card. And the High Priestess is all about your intuition. It's all about your higher self. And you're letting go of the people here that you don't trust. You're taking that leap of faith in yourself working on yourself rather than going back to these people that you know don't respect you. So really connecting to that intuition, okay? All right, so, and I also have the 21 Days to Opening Your Psychic Abilities course starting on March 1st. So if you're interested in that, you can find it in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some energy healing here with this. And um, let's set the intention. I'm going to set the intention here of the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool card, overing, overpowering this lack of trust and the shadiness, all right? And I will pull some more cards throughout the session, but we're going to release the energy around the hurt that you have felt before that's holding you back from really finding the happiness in your life, whatever that may be for you. It will resonate differently for everybody. All right, so all you're going to do during this is you're going to just close your eyes and you are going to um, listen to some music and I'm going to connect the divine energy to your energy so that you can release any blockages or trapped emotions that are in your energy field. All right, and like I said, stay tuned for more messages. All right, so go ahead and take a deep breath in and close your eyes. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And then go ahead and let that out. All right, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in give your body a nice little stretch and go ahead and let it out you can open your eyes when you are ready Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if that actually felt good for you. Um, if anything came up for you, let me know in the comments. This is actually really cool because the Hermit card came up in two different decks here. So we will get into that. But the first card that came up throughout that was Judgment, putting the past to rest. And the message that I was getting here with this card, or even all of it really, was that it's time to stop listening to other people. It's time to stop caring what other people think of you. You've got to let go of whatever the fears are or the thoughts or beliefs that you have about yourself. You've got to let go of that so that you can bring in what you want because you've got the eight of coins here, which is also the eight of pentacles, which is talent and skills. So your light is being uh, covered, is being shaded by these dark clouds and I feel like these dark clouds have come from things in the past here this shadiness people not treating you right narcissist um, and that it's time here with the hermit it says wisdom of solitude and the hermit here as well so you've got the hermit card came out two times for you so this is um, a conference a confirmation of the universe telling you that you need some time alone because with this Eight of Swords, like you're blinded. You're blinded by all of the influences in your life. This could be social media. They're showing me you could be comparing yourself to others. But you're being blinded. You're not seeing the truth of the matter. And it's important for you to isolate yourself for just a little while so that you can get your own thoughts and stop being influenced by other people or surroundings. So especially even when you're watching the news, if you're watching TV, if you're talking to your friends, if you're talking... Like, it's like, keep those thoughts within for a little while and really get clear, remove the blindfold for you to really see what you actually think. Um, in my 21 Days to Accelerate Your Confidence, which is going on right now, we're talking a lot about beliefs and like where they even come from. And for you here this month, it's like, you've got to identify the beliefs that you have about yourself that are keeping you from this world and keeping you from knowing this talent and skills that you have. And they're making me feel like the minute you go to step up and step out of your comfort zone and into whatever this is that you want to bring into your life, it's like you back down and you, they bring me back to the judgment card. This is where you're telling yourself that you are not enough and that, you know, what if they laugh at me or what if like whatever, whatever you're fearful of, of other people. But you've got to realize that those other people they have beliefs as well, and they don't even know where their beliefs come from. So this month, and I'm going to pull a question card here, it's really important for you to kind of take the time out and like isolate yourself. I can't say it any other way. Like don't be around those people that are making you feel these certain way. Yeah, and look what I got. To whom am I comparing myself right now? And it says... What you are able to see in another is only visible because it is it is within you, ready to be brought out. Shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within you. And today's soul action is today, stop comparing and start creating. And that's what they're making me feel. I feel as a lot of you, you know, have a message to share with this world. A lot of you want to go out and help other people but you're comparing yourself to other people and you've got to understand that you don't know everything about that person. You don't know, you know, how they got to where they are. They could have had significant help. They could have been financially like well off that could jump them to where they are. So it doesn't matter. It's about staying in your own lane and realizing that you are unique and people in this world need you for who you are. And even if this resonates in a relationship or a job or whatever it is, like you are unique and people are going to want you because it's you and you are good enough. So you got to let go of the judgment from the past, whatever toxic relationships could have even been childhood with toxic parents that have been brought into your life, making you feel like you are not enough. And it's time to go within to really see the truth 
and recognize your full potential and go out there, bring in this new beginning, get this world, like everything is at your fingertips. You're the only one stopping you. Okay, that was the message. <laughs> so um, I hope that resonates with you guys. If you are interested in working with me on a deeper level to really turn your pain into power, especially if you've been in toxic relationships, going back to the childhood and releasing all that crap that's back there so you can bloom and excel in your life. Um, I have different support levels for my From Pain to Power healing program, so you can check that out in the description box below. But like, you've got such a light to shine here. You're a friggin' Leo, so like, you've got to let it shine, like this beautiful light right here. Like, you are the light, and people are trying to dim your light. So now it's time to brush them off, brush that off, brush yourself off, because part of them is you, your ego, everything from the past. Brush that off. Step into your true power here. All right. I love all of you. So much love. And I want this for all of you. I wish you can see the potential you have inside of you and who you really are and the light that you are here to shine in this world. So happy February to you guys. This is beautiful for you. Step into your power and let the shit go. Much love. Mwah. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.